found this guy, Coulter Wall, and I was truly inspired with his music. And it's, it's, um, it's rare for me to find a new musician and be this stoked with. So I reached out to his manager, Mary, and uh, he, uh, he's playing Vancouver. Well, I figure out buy me a motorcycle, wrap a pretty little frame around a telephone pole. Is the police Ride open up! Mountain, God damn it! Open this fucking door, Coulter. Man. The man. Saskatchewan <laughs> and Iowa. There you go. There you go, prayer boys. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Neal Emerson. Vincent Neal, Texas. Tell us. Like Vince Neal? Vince Neal, yeah. Vincent Neal. <laughs> Vincent N E I L Emerson. You kind of look like him. Oh, do I? I got the, I, don't, I don't got the hair, man. <laughs> All right, Vincent Neal. And what is it? What's 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 your handle? So people can go follow you. It's just my name. It's Vincent Neal Emerson. Awesome. At Vincent Neal Emerson. Yeah. When's the album dropping? I don't know yet. We're still looking for a label. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Colter. <laughs> I plug a fitter from my table Right here a little play And I can't find a well Ain't got no parts but all pain Feel like a rooster bait But that ain't handled well now Road, road Running down that road again Road Catch me if you can. Come and get us over. Hey, boy. There ain't no coyote in the miles. I'm a hell at the moon from the bathroom tiles. I'm a doing full of stone balls. I'm praying to heaven. Horse and that got a bug down that road Running down that road again Road running Running 
inspired by our music that I just find like, you know, when uh, people come up to me and, you know, ask me, just, I always love being able to sit around and talk about favorite music passed down and that kind of shit. So, like, I love, like, Tom Waits is my god. If there's one thing I had to listen to the rest of my life, it'd be Tom Waits. But, um, who would be the one? Who's the one? Okay, I think I'd probably have to say Jack. There you Jack. go. I'm the Jack. He's kind of my hero, you know, just like, because he, he, he did so much, and, and he didn't really, he wasn't a, much of a writer, he didn't write that many songs, but he's such a great folk singer that he'd do all kinds of, like, he'd do the coal mining songs and the Appalachian region stuff, he'd do cowboy songs, he'd do the western stuff, he'd do, like, talking blueses and Woody Guthrie stuff and Jimmy Rogers. And, yeah. And uh, he's just a card, man. He's fucking, you know, born uh, in Brooklyn, son of a Jewish doctor. And he ran away when he was 15, joined the rodeo, and started just playing shows, busking for people, and met Woody Guthrie, and ran around with him for a while. And then he was Bob Dylan's hero forever. And Elliot he's like a mythical pass. figure, you yeah, know? yeah. He's a cool <laughs> guy. We got to see him. You meet, you know, when you meet the guy, you're like, you heard the voice, heard the songs, heard the story. Sometimes you don't want to meet your heroes. Sometimes they're 23 year olds, even when you're a 40 year old man. Give it some time. <laughs> but you know what? It's all right, buddy. <laughs> you're real, you're real deal here. Cheers, bud. Don't you know the devil wears a suit and tie? So I'm driving down to 61 in early July. Wide as a cotton, feeling sharp as a knife I heard him howling as he passed me by 